everyone um today i did this inspired look by victoria justice she plays tori vega in victorious and i party with victorious comes out today at um i think it's seven here where i live i have to check my um, tv guide but i'm like not leaving until that episode's finished it's a 90 minute episode so if you guys like love victorious if you guys love iCarly, they're just kind of blending them together and making this whole thing and if you're an old school fan of nickelodeon like i am um the one of the original cast members from all that Keenan Thompson is going to be in this movie in this um I guess no it's not really a movie it's just a 90 minute show um but he's going to be in it too like from Keenan and Kel and all that stuff so it's going to be pretty exciting for me because um it mixes my old school Nickelodeon love with my new school and um like I, I don't know I really enjoyed this look this is from her music video from my best friend's brother if you guys have not heard that song go check it out i'll post a link down to that below i'll post a link to all of the minutes and stuff i i said this like three times in the video um to wherever i found my makeup inspiration in the video down below also and uh what was it also, 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 i don't remember what i was gonna say but i'll post all of that stuff down below i'll post all of my makeup products down below and um yeah, it's a really cute song. You guys really need to <laughs> listen to it. And the music video is super cute, too. Um, I've been watching Victoria Justice and Zoe 101. So I am, I guess I'd consider myself a fan of her. She's she's so cute. And she looks a lot like Nina Dubrov, which, or Dubro, or whatever you want to call her. Um, which I also love. She comes out in the Vampire Diaries. They look like, they're twins. Like, uh, I don't know. It's crazy. They look so much alike. And this um not like this part but like my the eye part it kind of reminded me what Catherine what uh Catherine Pierce would wear in the vampire diaries so i guess this could be kind of a two in one but this is directly from the music video um my best friend's brother i already said that but um if you guys want to see how i got this just keep watching Bye. Okie dokie. So the first thing we want to do is um take our painterly paint pot or uh whatever our there's a lot of clouds, so my my lighting might suck. <laughs> okay, I'm going to take my painterly paint pot, which I have not used in forever, and I neglect to death, and it still works so great. Especially for neutral looks like this, where you're not really adding any whites or anything like that. That you're okay if they don't stand out so much. So I'm just going to be taking this. It's a great flesh-toned color base. I'm just going to take a small dab. And pop that under the lid. Or on the Next bottom. thing you want to do is go into this brown right above the black color right there with a brush that kind of looks like this. It's really flat. This is a Vincent Longo 33 black brush. You could use whichever flat brush you have. You could even use one of those angled brushes that you use to apply eyeliner. But I'm just going to use this. And I'm going to basically cut my crease. I'm just going to find my crease and line it and define it. Don't worry, we're not going to leave it like this. I'm just kind of getting her eye shape. And now you just want to take the brush on its side like this and kind of just smooth out the color. Now you just want to take a blending brush like this. This is my E25. This is a travel sized one that came as a sample. And you're just going to blend it out, but you only want to blend out the top, not so much that um, crease, but just the top of that color that we just applied. And you want to blend it out really, really well, and don't worry if you get it all the way up. We're just going to use a highlighter to kind of erase in a little bit. Okay, so the next thing you want to do, now that you have that all blended, is go into this kind of tannish khaki color right there next to that it's what the the fifth row over one two three four five fifth row over and the seventh one down right there or like the second one and you just want to take that on a brush like this is a flat shade or this is a shader brush it's the e55 from sigma i'm just gonna pack that on like that and put that on the lid sure not to blend it in too much to the crease color. 
Okay, so now that you have your lid color and crease color on, you're going to take your highlight color on a, my favorite highlighting brush. This is a, like the angled ones. And I'm going to go into my favorite highlighter, which is this one. It's like my perfect highlighter, and obviously you can tell it's very well loved in this palette. So I'm just going to take some of that, and I'm going to put it right under there, kind of sweep it over the rest of it it's gonna act like an eraser and it's just gonna kind of look really blended since you're putting it over the other one overlapping eyeshadows um especially from the crease color and to the highlight it's just gonna make it look like a smooth transition upward to the highlight so yeah okay so the next thing you want to do is go into a gel liner her liner is really really soft um so, I, I, or gel, this is a cream liner from e.l.f. This is in black. Yeah. I'm just going to take a pointed brush like this. This is an EO5 eyeliner brush from Sigma. And I'm just going to kind of like stab it in there. I only want to get it on the tip because I find that when I put it all over the brush, um, I kind of, kind of make the line a lot thicker than I should. Do it really, really thin. Okay, so now that you have your um, gel or cream liner on, you're gonna go into an angled brush like this. This is uh, the Sigma E65, and then just go into any matte black you might have. I'm just gonna use the one right there, right under the brown that we used for the crease. Tap off the excess. You really don't want that much. Um, and just kind of pat it right over that black liner. And it's just going to make it even softer. grab some more of that black, tap it off, and then just going to kind of draw a straight line outward, like if you're going to do a winged eye look. And then just kind of start working that into the crease so you have kind of like that outer okay so now go back to your blending brush and just kind of blend this out do not bring it up do not bring it to the outward side just bring it kind of inward like this or windshield wiper motions like really really fast ones like this like basically on the same spot you just kind of want that black to blend perfectly into that brown and just kind of blend all of it inward. You don't want this to be too dark. This is pretty wearable considering that we are using black and dark brown. Or on her, it looks pretty wearable in the music video. I will post um, everything like from what scenes I used, um, what minutes or how far into the music video her makeup is or like where I paused it to kind of see it because I do pause them. I did that for my Pretty Little Liars one. I paused it <laughs> right on the scene where her eye was shut. So Now that we have that all nice and smudgy and blended into each other. I'm going to go back into my Magic Eraser Highlighter, um, that one right there, back in with my blending brush, and I'm just going to fix it and make it round, because she has really round eyes, or like a really round shape to it, so, she just has a like of that. Go 
back in and blend. Don't worry, it's not that hard. You just probably need to practice once or twice before you get it. I practiced it. I practiced it quite a few times. And before I filmed, I did this eye so I could be really, really certain of what I'm filming. Because it's a lot easier to just compare eyes than to go back and forth between the video. Because I already know what I had put on my eyes. That looks fine. You can go back onto your lid color and just kind of readjust it if you think um, it got too dark with the browns and the black smudging over it. Just kind of tap it on. really really lightly you're barely gonna touch your skin just kind of sweep it over a couple of times like that and that's that go back into your angled brush like this and go into the black color again off really well. You don't want that much fallout. I'm going to put my finger there to kind of guide me. She has a really, really clean under eye, so just going to connect it from outer corner to outer corner, like right here. Don't poke your eye. Just bring it as far in as you want to bring it. I'm gonna bring it in pretty far. Okay, so in the close-ups of her, I saw um, she didn't have any eyeliner in her waterline. So, I'm just gonna leave that alone. Okay, there's like eyelashes stuck to the edge of my brush. Let's just do it. Okay. I'm just gonna use my Rimmel Max Flash. She has a lot of volume in her video. Um, she probably even has some falsies, some really, really natural falsies. So if you do have some that look really natural on you, I'd probably pull those out. Um, but I'm just gonna use mascara. So she has really, really pretty cheekbones, and a way to define them is by contouring. So I'm just going to contour a little bit with my e.l.f. duo. Now I'm going to be taking, like, a um, cheek color. I'm going to be taking this Meryl Norman one. This is pink feel, whatever it is. Um, it's just a sample. And this gives me the illusion of barely there blush, but it still gives me color, and I'm just going to dab it on right, right there. To kind of give me the pinch cheek, cheek pinch cheek. Okay, so in the video, she looks like she is wearing a mauve pinky, um, kind of like a berry pink uh, colored lip. And this is 907C, or Mauve It Up, I think it's called, from uh, Wet n Wild. It looks like this. The only thing that sucks is that when you pull it out, you have to be careful, and when you put it back in, so I just kind of, like, take it out really quickly. Um, this was $2.99 at my Kmart, so. And they work really, really well, so. I'm just going to take my finger and blend all the color out so I have an even coat of it and it looks a little bit more natural than just a pink lipstick. I swear, I suck at putting on lipstick. Um, I'm so messy with it. 
I usually fix it when I'm like over there, like on my vanity. It's because it's really hard for me to do my makeup like this. I don't know. I need to find a different way to film. Unless you guys kind of like that I mess up. Whatever. <laughs> so, um, I'll put down all the things that I used and all that stuff. And um, I guess I'm going to sign off and not like film a separate e exit kind of thing. Well, this is uh, the finished makeup look and um, the lips and the cheeks and all that stuff and if you want to get her hair just kind of part it down the middle like that and just kind of straighten it that's how she has it throughout the whole video um, and oh okay I, th I said it during the video too but I'm gonna post down all like the seconds and how many how many seconds or how many minutes into the video I kind of paused it at to look at her makeup I'll put down all the information you need down below if you need anything at all um, comment me um, so yeah I, I, I like this I think it looks pretty fun and flirty so if you're looking for a kind of easy makeup look just do this one I think it'd be fine um, also, first date, I like the neutral colors. I think this would be a nice flirty date look, too. So, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!